two, one, and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis, the final visit to enhance the vision of Hubble into the deepest grandeur of our universe. Welcome to this video where we'll be discussing one of the most ambitious plans of our time, Elon Musk's plan to colonize Mars. Elon Musk is a well-known entrepreneur and CEO of SpaceX and Tesla. He is famous for his visionary ideas and his determination to make them a reality. One of his most ambitious goals is to establish a human settlement on Mars. In this video, we will dive deep into the details of how Elon Musk plans to colonize Mars. Before we dive into the details of how Elon Musk plans to colonize Mars, let's discuss why he wants to colonize Mars in the first place. Elon Musk believes that establishing a human settlement on Mars is essential for the survival of the human species. According to him, there are three main reasons why we need to colonize Mars. Protecting the human species, Elon Musk believes that Earth is vulnerable to natural disasters, such as asteroid impacts, pandemics, and global climate change. Establishing a human settlement on Mars would ensure the survival of the human species in case of a catastrophic event on Earth. Advancing human knowledge, colonizing Mars would provide us with the opportunity to advance our knowledge of the universe and our understanding of how life evolved on Earth. It would also give us the opportunity to conduct research on Mars, which could potentially lead to scientific breakthroughs. Establishing a multi-planetary civilization Elon Musk believes that establishing a human settlement on Mars is the first step towards becoming a multi-planetary civilization. It would enable us to explore and colonize other planets in the future, which would increase our chances of survival as a species as the target planet for colonization. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and is often referred to as the Red Planet due to its reddish appearance. It is a rocky planet with a thin atmosphere, and its surface is covered in iron oxide or rust, which gives it the distinctive red color. Mars has many similarities to Earth, such as a 24.6-hour day, a tilted axis, and a similar seasonal cycle. However, the temperatures on Mars are much colder, with an average temperature of minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite the harsh conditions, Mars is the most habitable planet in our solar system after Earth. It has water in the form of ice at its poles, and evidence suggests that liquid water may still exist underground. This makes it an ideal candidate for colonization, as water is a critical resource for human survival. In addition to its habitability, Mars also has many resources that can be used for space exploration and colonization. For example, Mars has an abundance of carbon dioxide in its atmosphere which can be used to produce oxygen and methane for rocket fuel. Mars also has minerals such as iron, nickel, and cobalt, which can be used for construction and manufacturing. Overall, Mars presents many opportunities for space exploration and colonization, and its proximity to Earth makes it an ideal target for SpaceX's mission to make humanity a multi-planetary species. Now that we have an understanding of why Mars is an attractive target for colonization, let's dive into Musk's plan to colonize Mars. Musk's plan involves a multi-stage approach that will take several years to accomplish. The first stage of the plan is to send unmanned missions to Mars to establish the infrastructure necessary for colonization. These missions would include sending rovers to explore the planet's surface, identify potential landing sites, and establish a propellant production plant. The propellant production plant is a critical component of the plan as it will allow for the production of rocket fuel on Mars. This fuel will be used to refuel the rockets that will transport people and cargo between Mars and Earth. The plant will use Mars resources, such as carbon dioxide, to produce methane and oxygen, which can be used as rocket fuel. Once the infrastructure is established, the next stage of the plan is to send humans to Mars. Musk's goal is to send the first crewed mission to Mars by 2026, with the goal of establishing a permanent human presence on the planet by 2050. The spacecraft that will transport humans to Mars is called the Interplanetary Transport System. IATS is a reusable spacecraft that is designed to carry up to 100 people and cargo to Mars. The spacecraft is powered by a reusable booster called the BFR, which stands for Big Falcon Rocket. The BFR is an enormous rocket that is currently under development by SpaceX. It will be the most powerful rocket ever built, with a thrust of 31 million pounds, making it capable of transporting people and cargo to Mars and other destinations in the solar system. The ITS will make several trips to Mars, transporting people and cargo to the planet's surface. The first few missions will focus on establishing a base on Mars, with the goal of eventually building a self-sustaining city on the planet. While the plan to colonize Mars sounds exciting, it is not without its challenges. One of the biggest challenges is the distance between Earth and Mars. 
The two planets are at their closest point every 26 months, which means that the journey to Mars can take up to six months. Now that we understand why Elon Musk wants to colonize Mars, let's dive into the details of how he plans to do it. Elon Musk has laid out a detailed plan for colonizing Mars, which consists of several stages. Stage 1. Building the Interplanetary Transport System The first stage of Elon Musk's plan to colonize Mars is to build the Interplanetary Transport System. The ITS is a massive rocket that would be capable of carrying up to 100 people and all the necessary equipment and supplies to establish a human settlement on Mars. The ITS would be powered by SpaceX's new Raptor engines, which are much more powerful than the engines used in the Falcon 9 rocket. The rocket would be able to refuel in orbit around Earth and Mars, which would make it possible to travel to Mars with a single rocket. Stage 2. Sending Unmanned Missions to Mars Once the ITS is built, the next stage is to send unmanned missions to Mars to establish a propellant production plant. The propellant production plant would be used to produce methane and oxygen, which would be used to refuel the ITS on Mars. The long journey poses several challenges for the astronauts, including exposure to radiation and microgravity. Radiation exposure can cause long-term health problems, and microgravity can cause muscle and bone loss, as well as other health issues. To mitigate these challenges, SpaceX plans to design the ITS with artificial gravity, which will help combat the negative effects of microgravity. Additionally, the ITS will be equipped with radiation shielding to protect the crew from harmful radiation during the journey. Another challenge is the harsh Martian environment. The planet has a thin atmosphere, which provides little protection from cosmic rays and solar radiation. The extreme cold and lack of atmospheric pressure also make it challenging to grow crops or produce food. To overcome these challenges, SpaceX plans to use advanced technology such as terraforming and 3D printing to create a habitable environment on Mars. Terraforming involves changing the planet's atmosphere and temperature to make it more habitable for humans. This could include the introduction of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, which would help warm the planet and create a more Earth-like environment. 3D printing technology will be used to build habitats and other structures on Mars. This will be accomplished by using Martian soil as the primary building material, which will help reduce the cost and complexity of transporting construction materials from Earth. So why is colonizing Mars so important? There are several benefits to making humanity a multi-planetary species. First, colonizing Mars would ensure the survival of the human race in the event of a catastrophic event on Earth, such as a large asteroid impact or a nuclear war. Having a self-sustaining colony on Mars would provide a backup plan for humanity and increase the chances of our long-term survival. Second, colonizing Mars would open up new opportunities for space exploration and scientific research. Mars has a unique geological and atmospheric makeup that could provide insights into the history and evolution of our solar system. It could also help us better understand the potential for life on other planets. Finally, colonizing Mars would inspire a new generation of scientists, engineers, and explorers. The challenge of colonizing a new planet would require the development of new technologies and the collaboration of experts from a wide range of fields. This could lead to breakthroughs in technology and advancements in human knowledge that could benefit society as a whole.